In this video, we'll be seeing how to set up WordPress in DigitalOcean. First of all, you have to create an account with DigitalOcean. I'll give the link for creating an account on the description. You simply have to go to this URL. This is the URL refer.codecc.com slash DigitalOcean. And if you go to this URL, you'll get a $200 credit for 60 days. So you can go to this URL and create your account. Now after creating your account, go to the dashboard and you will be creating a project. Inside the project you will be having this UI. So come here and click on create. And you can click on droplets. Now we have to choose a region. So I am going with London. And then here we have to choose the WordPress. So go to the marketplace. So you can see choose an image. So go to the marketplace, click the marketplace option. And here you can see WordPress. If you are not seeing this option, you simply have to search WordPress on the search option. So select WordPress and you can skip all these options. And here you can select any plan that you wish to choose. So for now we are going with the basic plan and we are going to select this $7 per month. So you can choose any pricing plan according to your needs. So you can see the server specifications here. So according to your needs, you have to select the server. So we are going with $7 per month and then on the bottom we can give the password for our root access or you can go with SSH key. For now we are going to use the password. So let's give a password. So you can see that I have given a password and after giving a password you can scroll down and you can see the option to give a host name. So you can give any host name according to your need. I generally give the domain name here. So let's keep this to the same we are not going to change it for now and here we can select the project and you can give it tags also so after that you can click on create droplet so now the droplet has created and you can see the IP address here so you can click on the get started option and here you will be seeing all the instructions to how to set up WordPress. So we will be showing all these steps. So let's go to the droplet and copy the IP address from here. And you have to open the command prompt. So now you can see that we have opened the command prompt. And you can type ssh space root at then give the IP address that we copied. And then you can hit enter. Here type yes and hit enter. Now we have to give the password that we used while creating the droplet. So give the password here and hit enter. The password won't be visible so you have to simply copy the password and paste it here. Okay. So simply copy the password and paste it here and hit enter. Now you can see the next step. So here you can see it is asking for the domain name or subdomain name. So we will be using a domain name called codecc.org which is one of our domains so we'll be using that for this demo so let's use that so give the domain name and hit enter and next option you can see it is asking for the email address so give the email address and hit enter now we can give the username and password for the WordPress. So let's give a dummy username and password for now. So we have given the username and password here. And now we have to give the title of the blog. So let's give some dummy title. And you can type Y. If the information are correct, you can type Y and hit enter. Okay, now you can see it is asking you to add SSL or not. So we'll be adding the SSL. So type Y and hit enter. Now here also we can give the email address. So give the email address and hit enter. So you can see the next option is to confirm the terms. So let's type Y and hit enter. And next option also you can type Y and hit enter. So you can see the account registered and the next option it is asking you to activate HTTP for the following domains 
and we'll be using both so we can simply hit enter because we are going to use these two domains and here you can see leave the input blank so let's hit enter here Now the WordPress installation is successful and you can see we can access the site on the browser. So let's minimize the terminal and we can go to the IP address. So let's copy the IP address from here and let's open it inside the browser. We can see that the demo WordPress has loaded and you can see hello world. This is the hello world blog post which is by default there on the WordPress installations. So you can see we can load the IP address directly. Now we have to assign a domain name for this IP address. So for that, you can go to the domain register. So you simply have to buy a domain from any register. So you have to simply buy the domain and on the name server section, you have to add Cloudflare. So I recommend using Cloudflare because it adds CDN to your website and also some basic security for your website. So add the Cloudflare. For that, you have to create an account on the Cloudflare and add the domain name and you will get an option like dns and inside the dns you simply have to add these two dns options okay and here the main thing is you have to add the ip address and i have to change the ip address so let's change the ip address so let's give the ip address that we got from the digital ocean so you have to give that this one okay so copy the ip address from here and give that on the cloudflare section and you can click save so you'll be asked to give the IP address while adding the domain so you can add the IP address and then you'll be provided with the name servers for the Cloudflare so let's copy that and add that to the name server option on the domain register so what you have to do is simply add the Cloudflare name server from the Cloudflare you'll be provided with the name servers while adding the domain so copy that name server and add that to the domain register. So after that, you simply have to save that and wait for some time and then the website will be live. And let's try opening that. So now we can try opening this domain. So now you can see I have opened the domain codecc.org inside a browser and you can see the demo WordPress that we set up is opening. You can see the hello world and you can see everything is working, sample page, everything is loading properly. And if you want to go to the dashboard, you can simply type codecc.org, the domain, slash WP admin. And hit enter. So you can see that the WordPress login is open and you can enter the username and password here. So give the username and password that we used while installing the WordPress on the command prompt and click login. So now you can see that we are inside the WordPress admin dashboard and you can do necessary customization from here. So that's all. Now if you are facing any issue with the SSL, you can go to the SSL or TLS option here inside the Cloudflare and you can see we'll be having these options that is full, strict and flexible. You can opt for the option that is flexible. Okay. And that should solve the problem. And if you are facing any other issues, you can simply leave a comment and I'll respond to them. So that's all for this video. Hope you understand how to set up WordPress on DigitalOcean. So if you want to create an account and get a free credit of $200, you simply have to use the link that we have given on the description. Use the link and you can get $200 credit. So that's all with this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.